So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your new very own mass code at this side. So in this question, we are going to discuss the question swap two nibbles in a byte. What does the question say? The question says that you have a number. Suppose your number is 100. What is the binary representation of 100? Let us find out. So 100 divided by 2 gives me 50 with a remainder of 0. Divided by 2 gives me 25 with a remainder of 0. Divided by 2 gives me 12 with a remainder of 1. Divided by 2 gives me uh, 6 with a remainder of 0. 3 with a remainder of uh, 0. And I know 3 is represented as 1, 1. So my binary representation will, for this will be 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. What, what is the length of the binary representation? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let us make it 8. Let us make it 8. Right? So it is 8 bits. It is 8 bits. What is the common word for 8 bits? It is also known as bytes. Right? One 8 byte is a collection of 8 bits. Byte is a collection of 8 bits. Now similarly, nibble is a collection of 4 bits. Nibble is a collection of 4 bits. And by simple division, you can say a byte comprises of 2 nibbles. Byte comprises of 2 nibbles. In the given example, what are those two nibbles? So it will be this one and this one. This will be my first nibble, 0, 1, 0. And this one will be my second nibble. No problem in understanding that. Now, the question says, swap these two nibbles. Swap these two nibbles. That is, represent a number in its binary form for the length of 8 bits. That is equals to eight, uh, a byte. And then make uh, carry out the two nibbles. Like figure out the two nibbles. Swap them. So after swapping, the number would look something like 0, 1, 0, 0. And this one is the second nibble at the first position and then 0, 1, 1, 0. This one is the first, right? Now the question says, treat this as a decimal. Treat this as a binary equivalent and give me the decimal equivalent of this number, of the swap one. Decimal equivalent, decimal equivalent. I want the decimal equivalent of this number. How will I solve the problem? How will I solve the problem? Okay. So my first representation is that I know how to uh, ma make a binary representation string of a number, right? So I can make a string of number of 100, right? I can, what, what I can do is, I will say string s is equals to empty right now. Then I will say, because I want the length of 8, so I will go from 0 all the way up till 7. And I will say, if, suppose a number n is equals to 100, right? So if n bitwise and with 1, right shifted by, left shifted by n uh, i positions. This is 1, left shifted by i positions, right? What will happen if this is l equals to 1 s plus equals to 1 right otherwise in else case you will s plus equals to 0 right so this 100 will look something like it will give me the answer in reverse order that is the 100 will look something like in the uh, string representation 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 if you simply reverse it the string would look something like this only that is 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 this is your string this is your string all right now how to proceed with the problem how to proceed with the problem by a simple sub str function you can carry out these two nibbles this is my nibble one this is my nibble two right now what can you do you can thus make a new string with n2 plus n1 that is answer equals to n2 plus n1 so answer will look something like 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 that is what you wanted now you can carry out the decimal equivalency that is you will start from the like uh, you want the maximum power to be here, right? Maximum power to be here. So you will start from this index. This will be 0, then 2. This will be 1, sorry, 1, 2, 4, um, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Whether you, if you have 1, just add it up. If you, are, if you don't have 1, just move to the further iteration. That is, I'm saying for i equals to 7, right? Because this is index number 7 right now. i greater than equals to 0, i minus minus. What will you do if answer of i equals to equals to 1 that is a bit is set at this position then answer let us say uh, my result is 0 currently then result plus equals to power of 2 to the power 7 minus i why 7 minus i because this is referring to 0 this is referring this is referring to 1 this is referring to 2 so you can see 7 minus uh, index number this is equals to 7 minus i right and at last, after the for loop, you will have your answer and result. You can simply return result. Simply return result. The, the approach is exactly fine. I have myself coded down and it is working absolutely fine. You can code it down. Right. Now, the only problem with this is it is using some time and it is using some space. So, 
to find the representation i am using o of 8 time that is not a problem that is equivalent to uh, uh, that is equivalent to the constant time only but the space because i am using a string so o of 8 space is also getting used o of 8 space is also getting used my approach should be something that is furthermore clear crystal clear and optimized what will i do i will just try to run my engineer mind and just try to figure out the easy solution so binary representation of 100 was let me check it out it was 0 double 1 0 0 1 0 0 right so it was 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 right this was my first nibble this was my second nibble right something like this okay all right okay this was my first nibble this was my second nibble now i just have to swap them i just have to swap them so is there is there a way to figure out that this is my left nibble and this is my right nibble how can i say so i suppose that this number that is 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 if i take a and with 1 1 1 0 sorry 1 1 1 1 that is 4 times 1 with comprising 4 times 0 if I take the bitwise and the bitwise and what will happen 0 0 0 0 0 now 1 1 0 can you say that these four right nibbles are actually equal to this the four right are actually equal to this and this I don't care about now right I don't care about them right now again if I take it with 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 and if I take four zeros first and then four ones, if I take a bitwise end now, what will happen? It will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? As 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? You can say the value of this integer that this is equivalent of this is and is equal to right nibble value. Similarly, this is equal to left nibble. You just have to swap them how will you swap them so if i shift it by four bits on the right side four bits to right and similarly this one to four bits to left so i said shift i said shift so i will be using the left shift that is suppose this is number rn so rn equals to rn left sh uh, right shift by four and either ln equals to ln right shift by four so what will, what will the numbers look like it will look something like zero 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 0 1 1 0 and here 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 right now if i take the or of them if i take the or of them so it will look something like 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 if i take all of them 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 now you can see that these two num this number is exactly what i wanted and I didn't use any kind of string. I didn't use any kind of string. If I just say return this number, return number, you don't have to carry out any decimal to equivalent or I need to bind to decimal, etc. etc. So, okay. So, what is the time complexity? You can see that we have just used four operations, and that is why the time complexity is also one and space complexity is also one. Let me write down the steps again for you. So, first step is Rn equals to binary like decimal representation of one 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 followed by four zeros and the number n similarly left n equals to decimal equivalency of 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 and with n okay moving on i will say right n equals to rn now i have to left right shift it so four similarly ln equals to ln left shift by four answer equals to rn or with ln and i can simply return my answer simply return your answer right so let us move to the code now let us move to the code now all right guys so here is the coding section as you can see but before starting with the code i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible because it really motivates me if you found this video helpful please 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 do consider subscribing also you can follow me on my social media handles the links are mentioned in the description okay so int right number equals to n and with binary representation that is 0b this will give me the decimal representation of the number 00, 0 uh, sorry 1 1 1 1 0 0 similarly int ln equals to n and 0b 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 right moving on what will happen 
I will have to shift the number. So Rn equals to Rn left right 50 by 4 ln equals to ln left 50 by 4. And now I can simply return Rn bitwise or with ln right let us try to compile and run it hope it will work it should not give any error oh it is giving an, oh okay it will be two zeros more let us try to compile and run it now it is running fine let us try to submit as well in the meantime do consider subscribing to the channel because uh, as i said it really motivates me and you can see 168 day streak Thank you for watching me, thank you for loving me and we'll meet tomorrow with a new video. Till then, keep coding, stay tuned and have a nice day. Bye.